And he would probably have donuts on his, what do you think? <laughs> would like to. <laughs> well, speaking of, let's head on over to the kitchen. Mr. Randy Alice, what do you think? Donuts? Yeah, Charcuterie? Donuts. I feel oh, like I that would so. be your go-to. All kinds you of You could them. do little mini donuts. I could, Amber. That's a great <laughs> idea. So yeah. Uh, especially the chocolate ones. You know me. Oh, I yeah. I know you. The else, cake so. donuts is the what you love. Of, plain cake with uh, chocolate frosting. Oh, hi, Michelle. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Keep going. Talk about I love all these boards. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, Michelle Dudesh is here. And um, uh, But this is a butter board. Which it's, is, this is different. It is. Is a charcuterie board? Have you seen the butterboard trend that's happening? Uh, well, I don't think so. So charcuterie okay. is really trendy there for yep. a little bit. Still is. Yeah. So the butter board. I know. It's kind of crazy. So people are literally spreading butter on boards and scooping it up. Well, now, you might that. ask, what does Michelle Dudash, the dietitian, think about that? Right. Well, you know, I love butter as much as the next gal. But if I'm going to be scooping with other ingredients yeah. as like a main course or appetizer, I'm going to switch to a healthier fat. Of course she I'm going to use pistachios and tahini mm -hmm. and, um, oh, you know, and olive oil. So, yeah, so it's, and it's beautiful. And it so it smells so good. Thank you. It looks pretty. It really does. It does. Did you come up with this idea yourself? I did. I did. I literally, I was just racking my brain. What am, I, like what am I going to make I this fall? I create too at home when I cook. I yeah. Really yeah. I think you've like. rubbed off on her over, <laughs> you know, the Absolutely. Years. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so it's really easy to make as well. So I work with a wonderful company, and so I created this whole fall spread using wonderful pistachios and pomegranates and pomegranate juice. Yeah. So the way you make this is what I already have in here is some garlic. I have some uh, wonderful pistachios, no shells. I'm sorry, no salt with the shells, but I took out the shells. Okay. And then we're going to add in all of these other ingredients. So I have lemon juice, fresh. Lemon I have juice. tahini. I have um, fresh parsley. This okay. Adds yeah, I know parsley. Uh huh. I know lemon juice. T what, what is exactly tahini? Tahini is sesame seed paste. Thank oh, you for asking. You're welcome. It's just ground up sesame seeds. And you can find that in any store. Is yes. that pretty basic? Yep, it is. Enough? Go it look is. by the um, nut butters or okay. maybe Never in heard the... of that one. It's, it's, I, I yeah, have either. it's a great little thing to keep on hand and add to your recipes. And then we add a little water just to get things moving. Of okay. And of course, some salt <laughs> and some olive oil. Da, da, da. Yeah. Good one, Rand. So we just uh, let this go in the food processor. Oh, by the way, I soaked the pistachios and the cashews oh. overnight in water. So they're nice and soft. Exactly. And so you can see how that comes together. And you just let that go for a couple minutes, and then what I do is take that um, spread and I put it in this platter that right here. So I just spread it in there. So with Wonderful Pistachios, they're a complete protein. They're a plant-based protein. They're actually the highest, one of the highest protein snack nuts out hmm. there, and it's a good source of protein with six grams of protein, three grams of fiber. I just like that you're doing something different with it because when I usually pick this up, there's some people like, oh, I don't like nuts, I don't, I don't like this. You can make it different ways oh, and yeah. you don't really realize that. Right, absolutely, and then pair it with all your favorites. Cauliflower, peppers, uh, crusty bread, yeah. seeded crackers, celery, and you can just dip that right in there. I drizzled it with some olive oil. I also put on some Palm Wonderful fresh pomegranate arrows. Don't you think yeah. that the red just kind of makes it pop? It does that make green? it pop. It looks Beautiful. like Christmas time. Yeah. Could this be a Christmas side dish? Definitely. Oh, yes. absolutely. You can make this into a Christmas Christmas ornament. You know, where you yes, can hang Randy. On your tree. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So with oh, yeah, man. with the fresh pomegranate arrows, of course, those have antioxidants, and they have four grams of fiber in every yeah. half I cup. I love pomegranates. Yes. I can just eat them straight out of this little thing right here. Absolutely. I love them. Yeah. Get They're them in so the good. stores while you can this time of year. Uh, you know, most people are falling short in fiber. So yeah. you're getting the fiber from those pomegranate yeah. barrels. These are really, really good. Okay, you got something boiling yes. right here. Okay, in. so that yeah, it's really good. going here. Yeah, really okay, good. so this, you were going to love this. I am <coughs> all into this this fall season. When you want a cozy drink. Yeah, um, so this is a palm cider. So what I did is I poured in this bottle of Palm Wonderful 100% okay. pomegranate juice. And then we're adding in all these spices. You can help me out, Randy. Cinnamon. Oh, okay. Everything on this cutting board is going in this Everything. pot. Everything. Oh, Everything. Cinnamon what sticks. Is this here? Juniper berries. <laughs> This is. We have a star anise. Okay, and this is. We have orange zest. Okay, we have a little. Is. Yep, keep Everything. going. Keep that going. you've got cardamom pods. Wait, what, what is that? Vanilla extract. Car cardamom. That's uh, some pods? cloves. So, and, cloves. and by the way, this if, goes into. Yep, add it. That's some fresh mm. squeezed orange juice. Mm. So mm. cardamom mm. pods are a spice. You can just find those at the grocery store. Now, if you don't have one or two of these spices, right, you'll be deal. fine. Yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, if, as long as you have a couple in there, that's the warming spices. So we just let this simmer 
and then we'll let it sit there for two hours after it comes to a boil. Okay. And then you can serve it hot as a cozy drink. Ooh. You can serve it over ice. And this is not alcoholic, by the way. Oh, no. Now, oh, you wanted going. to add some gin to it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that, too, for the holidays. But this is so delish. And you're getting antioxidants. Oh, that's so good. Yes. That's so healthy for you. That's like the holiday season in a glass. Is Isn't it? Is. Mm -hmm. right, and it matches your dress, yeah, by the way. It matches my dress. <laughs> that's perfect. And yeah, that's from the polyphenol antioxidants. You know I love this. Good stuff. You're yeah. sticking around. What's coming up? Oh, yeah. So we're going to make chili. Chili bar oh. season. Get ready for oh. Halloween. Okay. Get ready like for that. all the good fall well, things. Well, there you go. Yeah, chili George.